Hey everyone, Rob from Southgate Media Group here. Before we get started with this podcast, we have a quick message. If this is your first time checking out the show, we love that you found us and we really hope you enjoy it. What we have to say is for the subscribers. If you enjoy our shows, would you please donate to help keep these going? We don't want to have to put traditional ads on these shows, but this does cost money. So we really do rely heavily on donations. To make a donation to the show, please go to our website, www.southgatemediagroup.com. Go to the page for the show, and in the upper right-hand corner is a donate button. It takes you right to PayPal, and you can donate whatever amount you want. Thanks a lot for listening, everybody. And now, on with the show. Welcome to Live at the Blue Box. We are doing some live podcasts here tonight. It's This Week in Geek. Yeah. I don't know the date again. What are we at? It's, uh, it's 28th. 28th. March 28th, 2015. I get the dates wrong every week. So here we are, This Week in Geek. And for those of you that didn't know you were here for podcasts, hi, we're doing live podcasts here. But feel free to talk and do whatever you do here, knit, video games, whatever, eat. It makes a great first date. You guys on a first date? <laughs> yes! I knew it! I spotted it! For real? Awesome. Do you want yeah, to be on a you podcast? Like, would you, want you to like to here? record this first date? You know what? We, we do like audience participation. We like people shouting stuff out, too. So, you know what? You can impress her by knowing a lot about... Look how I attracted Martha. I, I knew all this <laughs> <No>. stuff about <laughs> Marvel. And, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah. In, in other words, act like you don't know what we're talking about. She's going to fall in love. Bam! All right. <laughs> so, are we ready? Sure. Yes. All right. So I got news. Uh, oh, uh, what? No, we got to introduce ourselves. Uh, okay. What? Oh, yes. We do have something special here. We have a first date, and we have a birthday. It's the 90th birthday. No, it's that is terrible. You're a great for age. You you mean 35th? <laughs> yeah. Come on. It's, it's my mom's birthday weekend. Mom, what day is your birthday? Is it tomorrow or Monday? Or? It's Monday. I don't know what. You don't Monday. even know your mom's birthday? I don't. <laughs> okay. Maybe you haven't met me a little. I don't I, know how old I am most of the time. <laughs> Believe me, we know. Well, well, that we know by the smell. The age of 45. <laughs> I'm going to get a tattoo of Molly's. I'm going to get a tattoo with Molly's birthday on it so I remember that because otherwise, forget it. That's so sad. It is. So sad. So, Mom, happy birthday. Here's to another hundred. Happy birthday. So, here's news that my mom would care about. Let's start with that. Um, No. Well, also, yes. The Transformers. (laughs) That's what we're we're going to start with? I want to start with that. No. Okay. okay, what do you want to start with? I'll start New with that. New Bond trailer came yeah. out. Yes. Spectre. Spectre. That's oh. the best news of the weekend. I was going to go with something lame, but yes. Because you're lame. We know that. But well, Bond yeah. is awesome. Bond yes. is the best. Yes, that Spectre I, preview. And they had the throwback in the preview to the last movie. They're like, they, they took this from Skyfall. I'm like, they did it from Skyfall. It's awesome. Skyfall I know, is like, so good. Yeah, I, yeah. Now I want, like, I'm want. i so intrigued by what they found that Bond doesn't want them to know about. I'm yes. like, what is this? Okay, is that going to be a brother, what is it? that picture? What? I wonder because it's no. it's Christopher Waltz playing. Christoph Waltz. Christ- Isn't it Christoph Waltz? It's not Christopher Waltz. Christoph. There's Christoph, Christoph Waltz Christoph. and Christopher Walken. You got okay, one wrong. I, got I win. Walken, it's yeah. Christoph. Christophe. Christophe Waltz. <laughs> Christoph. Yes, 10 points to Rob. Thank you, Jenny. And, Bam. Then it, and then you get taken away 10 points. Yes, well, yeah. So, yeah, it's Christophe Waltz. Okay. And what were you going to say? But it, I think that's going to be his brother. Is that going to be his brother? How weird would that He's Blowfly, right? Or Blowfish? Blow, or Blow, 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 Blowfly. Blowfeld. He's Blowfish. that guy, right? Blowfly. Is that who he is? I, I don't know. Do you know what? We actually know... The daughter of the original Blofeld. Really? Telly Savalas, yes. Wow. We know Telly Savalas' daughter. Why, why isn't she here? Well, because she doesn't live over here. She lives Helen gone. So, <laughs> But yeah, we know her. And she was the daughter of the best Bond villain. 
until Horatio Del Toro or whatever the last guy was. The guy with the... <laughs> yeah, he was awesome yeah, with the was weird it? teeth. It was a Harvey he was Bart awesome. Den. Really Harvey like or Bottom. <laughs> yeah, that guy. Bartem. <laughs> yeah, Are we Harvey. supposed to know? I'm not the only one. <laughs> Date Boy didn't correct me. He didn't know. Yep, see? What's your name so I can call you out? It's Jordan? All right, you're getting called out, Jordan. So I thought, did you, okay, Jordan, did you think this Spectre, it was awesome. Yes. You going to take her on a date to that? <laughs> He's thinking about it. Yeah. If she wants. It's in November. We're not making you know plans if, for them. If not, you can learn for, early. For you, eight you, months from if now. If she doesn't want to go, you go with a bunch of guys like we do. <laughs> That's how it works. That's how we roll, right? So are you, I, Edward, you're a Bond guy, right? I, I really like Bond. Unfortunately, I didn't know. I didn't know that. I didn't know there was another movie coming out, so I didn't watch the trailer. How are you a Bond guy if you didn't know that another movie there's was coming? Always, out? There's always a Bond movie in yeah, production. Yeah, that's, that's true. I, I've watched Bond for most of my life. <laughs> what? That's what. That's <laughs> what. That's that what one? Rob is. <laughs> Rob is a gold Bond fan. <laughs> gold Bond. <laughs> gold. <laughs> you should have. You would have been coming. Here's another we mic have, for you. We I have got four two. microphones. All right. So, yeah, the Bond trailer is awesome. Everybody should watch it. I, I can't wait. Now, when does that come out? Is that November. this year? So it is this year. Oh, it's this year? Yeah. yeah now, November. I didn't see Quantum of Solace. Did you see that one? Yes. yes. I saw is that, that one. one good? Okay. It, it is. Because Casino Royale was amazing. And then I heard Quantum of Solace wasn't good, but then Skyfall was amazing. Amazing. Yeah, Skyfall was am- it, it was a dip, but there was reasons for the dip. There was the writer strike and all that kind of stuff going on. So they didn't even get they didn't even get rewrites on the script for Quantum of Solace. They just pushed it out. Okay, was it Moonraker type bad? No, or? no, no. It, no, was, no. It, was, it was it was typical action movie. Okay, so it was just yeah. kind of yeah. generic. It, it, where it Skyfall is how about that beginning? You know what? Skyfall's been on Netflix. And I just watched the first like ten seconds really? when he's when it's out of focus, and he kind of steps into the frame. You're dun dun. That is the coolest thing. I'm getting chills just from that. That was the coolest. One time we were flying into London, and on the plane in the in the headsets they had the Bond theme playing. So mm-hmm. as I'm coming in, na 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 na, it's then, the then coolest it thing up. ever. I love it. I do too. I'm I'm a big fan. I own every Bond movie on DVD. I have it all on DVD. I do. I got it all well, on Blu-ray. Shows my fandom. Do you have the? Do you and have the, the best wo- Bond is who? Woody Who's Allen. Your best Bond. Do you have the Woody Allen one? The Casino Royale. I do have him? the original, the Woody Allen Casino Royale. All right. Okay, who? No. We could do that. How we could do a rewatch. That be? That's How like long would that be? It would be Not longer than the Avengers marathon night. that I'm yeah, going to. Yeah, um, yeah, have so fun. Who, okay. Okay. Before we go to the next thing, I will ask a question. Who's your best Bond? Who do you think? I don't know my names. Give me a second. Oh, Tell me which we. movie. Best Timothy movie, Dalton. Um, That's true, yeah. I, you, you, you might have a point there. because uh, Pretty amazing, but Sean Connery would have been the better Bond. I, now, is Daniel Craig? Daniel, Daniel, my favorite, my, is my favorite Bond movie. is from Russia with Love. Goldfinger. Oh. From Russia? No. I think that is the best movie. Octopus out of that series, no. and I'm telling you, I'm being dead serious. Then after that, to me, comes Skyfall. Yeah, I, you know what? I agree. Skyfall and, is just... and, and to me right now, I, I would have said Connery. I think Daniel Craig might have with Skyfall with him in that movie I, might have passed him up as the best Bond. It's it's a hard choice, but you it you is. know what? That's a good argument because Skyfall, his performance in that that Bond. Well, his Bond in Casino Royale was... A, oh, it was great. But I mean, you know, he instantly I, I still leapfrogged think, the other Bond. I still, yeah, I still that. think he needed, he needed that other one. So but Skyfall this might one, do yeah, if, if, if this movie is as good as, as Skyfall, Skyfall, or even right in that realm between Skyfall Bond. and Casino Royale, he, he is Bond. You know, he'll get the same praise that you know, all the Batman fans give Bale for, for his, uh, right. his Batman role. But right. I, I think that... I'm uh, James Bond. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm Bond. Um... But I think to me, I have still, a particular set of skills from, from Russia with same guy. From Russia with Love is the best Bond movie. From like, Russia with Love is amazing. They have, those, they, they have the sky packs where they fly. Amazing. Oh my gosh, it's so good. That was actually on recently on uh, one of the sh- channels. I, it's one of those, as soon as you see the, even the opening, you're just like, that's it. 
I'm done. Uh, two do, hours. I'm watching this. Do you know who else? What famous president? That movie is their favorite movie. A famous president from Russia with Love is their favorite movie. Richard Nixon. <laughs> no, John F. Kennedy. Don't really? Really? Eh. Wow. Mm, What's this? Is something weird going on here? I'm getting nervous. Who's this guy? Oh, hey, we have a board. So now instead of just being bored, we have a board. Sean, no, no, Sean Connery. Sean Connery. Hey, audience, wow. you're not the only bored Jesus. one. Sean Connery. So, <laughs> so let's get this back. Boo. Mike. <laughs> Boo. So my, hey, two already tonight. <laughs> my favorite actor is Sean Connery. Sean Bond, Connery. Yeah. He's it, my favorite. You it's, know what, it's, though? It's, I think Timothy Dalton gets a bad rap. I do, too. Go back and watch those movies. Those are actually really good actually, movies. Actually, you know, the other one that was good was the one that did one movie there, not George yeah, Lazenby. He, well, it was George Lazenby. He's the only one that did the one. Oh, was it Timothy Dalton that I'm thinking Timothy of? Timothy Dalton did yeah. two. He was really good. The, that was, those were the ladies. Actually, Lazenby before was Before Pierce. Too. They were all actually good. I think Pierce Brosnan's movies, to me, are some of the worst. You know what? They, they are. They're out, of, they're out of place. But, yeah. but I enjoy them. Wait, I like him as Bond. The movies aren't that great. Yeah, see, you know what? I don't know if I like Pierce's Bond. He was okay, but I, I, I would prefer Welcome to the Timothy, James Bond podcast. Timothy Dalton. Yep. Because when I see Timothy James Dalton Bond. come, I see Timothy Dalton being able to take somebody down hand-to-hand combat style, being able to take anybody down, and still be a bit suave. I see Pierce is super suave, and he needs some gadgets and weapons to take him down. You know, it's like he can't. I don't see him any. You know, he's he's like Ben Affleck was in Daredevil in the fight scenes, where he's <laughs> very <laughs> stiff. But I think like, that's what I said. Wait, like, are you me, saying that he's the Ben Affleck of the Bond series? He might be. Oh wow, way to call him out. Who? Oh, I. Hey, I love Ben. So I mean, but he he was out of All place. All right, can we Daredevil. move on? We've talked sure, enough yeah. Bond. All right, so we can never talk enough Bond. I've got I've got a lot of terrible stuff, uh, lots I, of stuff I, I want to boo. So I've got one. <laughs> Here it is. I'm stealing yours. Okay, so Paramount, this is one that makes me excited and horrified at the same time. <laughs> Paramount is go, is de- developing sequels and spinoffs to Transformers. Right, they're going to do some universe yeah. building with Transformers. Here's where it gets well, really and, bad. And I have no problem with that. Here's why it gets bad. Michael Bay is going to be involved in it again. Wait, really? It's going to be more of the same. That that that's. Mm. Whoa! Tell oh, tell me well, how you really okay. feel. Will Will Donnie Wahlberg come is back? Is that how you really feel? He killed off the doctor, the Transformers doctor. No. Wow! Well, wow! This is holy PC, holy. <laughs> and that and, the, and both those words mean the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> mean the exact same thing. So I agree with you. I, I don't like Michael Bay either. I think Michael Bay. You know, just like uh, Team America World, World Police song, why does Michael Bay get to keep on making movies? I won't go any further in that song. But it's, you know, he, he, hits, he hits one. The, you know why he gets to keep making movies? Because Transformers was the most profitable movie of right. 2014. Right. Yeah. So that's Which why he's going to keep going. That's why. No, well, and the thing is. Okay, so. But, but here's the, here's the that's thing. That's what those people are going for those movies for. He is not the guy to helmet if they're going to do universe building. Because no. to do universe building, you need a, like a TV runner that really understands. A guy like a Vince Gilligan. Is he going to ever do a Transformers? No. But you need a guy like that that can do this type of character development across multi-films. Yeah, but I'm- Michael Bay goes, look, shiny object, blow it up, boom. And we've seen that. These Transformers movies are awful. Y- yeah, oh, they're, they're amazing. They're not amazing. You like them? I, I like them just because the my... The second one with so. the two Volkswagens was the okay. worst thing ever. I'll agree to that. That was bad, but I really liked the new the new movie. There were things I, I liked. No, the new the one new was one. horrible. No, I'm sorry. The new, one was, it, the new one I liked with it. But they killed off J.T. Miller or T.J. Yeah. Miller or whatever. T.J. Hooker. What's they t- killed him off quick. T.J. Hooker. But I... The captain is never dead. He was the best. He was the best part of that. No, the the last Transformers movie was the worst movie I watched all of 2014. No, that really? was Frozen. No, Frozen was great. I don't know what you're talking about. He's a teenage boy. I was about to say, angry yeah, because Frozen. Because you're, you're a 12 year old boy, of course, you don't like Frozen. Yep. I mean, like, oh, it's a Disney cartoon. I'm a man. Let me watch Wreck It Ralph. No, well, <laughs> no, Frozen, I don't like no, that either. Because Tangled was amazing. 
What is? Uh, Tangled. I, they're, what? They're by Tangled. the same studio. I don't know why you can't love both. I don't know why you can't love both. I love both. Wait, a little's like got a lot of love to spread around. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I like uh, Frozen. I love Frozen. I've seen Frozen. So, I've seen Frozen. I've seen Frozen wait a minute, literally 50 wait a minute. times. We have wait, a first literally? date barometer here. Literally. Exactly. First date? 50? Yes. Do you like Frozen? Uh, see? <laughs> uh, Jordan? Not into it, but you love it. Big Hero oh. 6 was terrific as well. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Okay, so you, uh, now you got to watch Frozen, and then at the end uh, of it, uh, no, wait, here's what's going to happen. I've got the They're DVD in my Frozen. car. We'll pop it on here. You can watch They're going to watch Big Frozen, and he's going to go, wow, this is so much better than I remember. <laughs> okay, because they're dating. And then they're going to watch Big Hero 6, and she's going to go, oh, I love superheroes. Dude. And then 10 years later, it turns into that. For your correction. Why? No, Why you're going to love Big Girl calling? 6. It's awesome. And you're going to love Frozen when you watch it with her because Why? it's awesome and you get the big feels. Rob, right? why are you calling these young people out on their date, man? Leave them be. <laughs> I can't <laughs> help it. They sat up front. <laughs> you note, came here. Note so. to everybody. You're welcome. Everybody everywhere, don't sit up front by me if you're on a date because I'm going to talk to you. <laughs> you guys don't mind, do you? <laughs> That's right. Oh, <laughs> even better. Good job. Keep boo, her. You can boo him. I like on. her. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right. What are we talking about? Oh, speaking of bad Michael Bay. <laughs> the, okay. Okay. They gave a name. It has not, it's not official, but the working name so far for the new Ninja Turtle movie Half Ooh, Shell. Yes. is Half Shell, but we don't know if that's real or if that's a production name. No. But here's the part that makes me cringe. They announced that the sequel is going to feature cameos by a number of NBA stars. Yeah. Six... Los Angeles Clippers. Okay, so yes. as you know, I like to start at five stars and work my way down. We are now working our way up from one star. They could just be at a basketball game. I don't. Why do you hate it's sports so much? Ter- I don't hate sports. No, no, you do. I remember last weekend's conversation. <laughs> <laughs> we had some conversation. But you know what? I don't. I just know when they when they take a movie like this and they plug in sports stars, it's just like it's like it's like a, what's that movie with? Uh, and she was actually a lead in the first one, um, Julia Roberts, in that one, where she played herself, and they were doing the crime, uh, Ocean's 12. Yeah. As soon as you take the celebrity and you make them a character in it, basketball players aren't actors. They're going to be standing around going, oh, I got we shoes on. But we don't and know what they're going to do. They could just be yeah. like. Yeah, I know what they're going to do. They, they're going to throw a basketball, and it's going to bounce off the shell, and it's going to be this little scene. And they're going to be like, oh, oh yeah. and they're going to high five, and they're going to get a pizza. And I'm going to go, no, <laughs> this is terrible. Well, if you saw the oh first one, it was terrible anyway. And then Donatello's going to die. Stop Yay. it. Yay. Anyone got some salt? I want to throw it Stop in that it. wound. Stop it. <laughs> R.I.P. Donatello. Yeah, so... Yeah, the, the NBA star thing, though, that just <laughs> takes it down. You know what? It's not about sports. It's not about sports. What's it's, it about? it's just like that Julia Roberts thing. As soon as she was Julia Roberts, and she was there because she's a star being Julia Roberts, it but ruined But she wasn't it. a star being Julia Roberts. They were using Julia Roberts playing... Tell, uh, tell me you don't like this movie. Which one? Ocean's 12. Ocean's, I like Ocean's 12. No. I mean, I don't think it's the best. I think it's by far the worst of the Oceans film, but I can, wa- I can sit there and watch it. By far. The first but it's is not, But I've seen worse heist movies. Have you seen Tower Heist? That was terrible. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. That's the Eddie Murphy one, right? Isn't is that, that I don't Brett know. Ratner did that one? Yeah, I think what? so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's yeah. all you had to say. I don't even remember anymore about it. Brett just, Ratner pr- production. Ben Stiller, thank you. Yeah, it was terrible. That, that could be a uh, Michael Bay production of a Brett Ratner film brought to you by, yeah, that'd be terrible. Oh. Brought to you by I Michael couldn't come Bay. up with anything. I and started Shia pepperoni cream. I don't know. I even got bored with it. <laughs> Preparation Shia H. Brought to you by Shia oh, <laughs> Starring Shia LaBeouf <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Oh. I, you with- know what? I just ate. Now I'm getting kind of queasy. <laughs> All right. So The second biggest news of the week. Oh, okay. And I'm stealing this because I, I knew Aww. you were going there, but those were my two top things, was we get an amazing, amazing, sexy pose of Ryan Reynolds 
And you know how much I love Ryan Reynolds in his Deadpool costume in front of a fireplace. Yes. And it is the, the wallpaper on my computer right now. Oh, I bet it because is. Because I love Ryan Reynolds. And I, I bet you wish you had a pen that you could turn upside down and the costume would come slowly off. <laughs> oh, I, it's I, Ryan Reynolds. I wish I did flip. You know, it's where you click the... the Do you see he got a little pink when I said it, too. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, amazing. No, and I love the fact that Fox is actually using a real costume. You know yes. what? I do too. I actually, I, I've been kind of hard on this movie because I'm, I don't know, something's not sitting right for me with this one. Everyone's all mm-hmm. up about it, not sitting right, but that picture That's is exactly amazing. what it should be. That's fantastic. Well, that picture is. is what it should be, and that that little fake, fake uh, whatever got, that got. Um, the trailer thing that released? Tra- yeah, that got released. Yeah, but you know what? I didn't love that. I loved it. I, there were because that's exactly of, what I would have expected. But I don't of know Deadpool if movie. I can sit through two hours of that. But that's what you're going to. That's what the comic books well, are. You're going to sit through 24 hours of Marvel. Well, <laughs> 27 yeah. actually. Heck yeah! It Should, depends. Is it showing here? Because I've been saying I'll do it, but yeah, I, it's, it's not it's showing. AMC, any, uh, is it the one in Lake in the Hills? Lake in the Hills. No. Uh, are you going, Edward? I mean, who's going Barrington, with me? Barrington's 30. Barrington uh, 30. Who's going with me? Chris, did you cancel your trip yet? Are you going with me? No, uh, you know what? Uh, I'll see. I'll I have, see, I'll I have see a I perfect reason for not going to this. You know why? Because when I get to Age Ryan of Ultron, I would like to enjoy the movie, <laughs> not sit there smelling what 24 hours of, of you, sitting in the theater with everybody else and it, me, what it does. Hours. 27 and a half. You know what? Oh, really? At Lake in the Hills, it's got these nice seats. You can fall asleep. You can wake up. Oh, no, Thor's on. (laughs) And then you can wake up and watch it. I don't want to fall asleep at a public theater. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, (laughs) Oh, you've never been to Lake in the Hills. (laughs) Oh, I want to say something. (laughs) We'll put that on our Patreon show. I got something really funny to say about that. Would you like some tea, uh, by the way? I'm just asking. Uh, (laughs) No. I pick no. yes. Oh, no. They're off, they're off. Yep. That's what I look uh, for in a theater. Someplace I can really fall asleep. I don't. Without I don't want to fall robbed. asleep during a movie. So the Deadpool suit. Deadpool suit, it's, awesome. It's awesome. Awesome. Okay. Uh, anybody a fan of Super Troopers? Uh, yeah, the first one's pretty good. What you is like? That? Does anyone you're else too, like Super Troopers? Or you're too, too little. Young. You're too little to see uh, too okay. little. Broken Lizard. You know what? Super Troopers, the, Beer Fest. I uh, thought the movie was funny. It was better than Beer Fest. Beer Fest wasn't that good, but Super Troopers was good. But they had a successful Kickstarter. Right, they're making a week, sequel. Making a sequel. But here's the crazy part: they needed what was it, three million or two million to make it? I don't remember. Two million. They put a thirty-day Kickstarter on it for two million dollars. They got it in under a day. Wow. And their stretch wow. goal they already hit like in under a day. So this movie fans, is happening. Yeah. That is really powerful. And, and the article I read about it said, but the Kickstarter stays up for another 30 days. What does that mean? Can they really like, does this mean they've got a budget? Because when they kickstart movies like this, it's not typically to get it made for that. It's so that they can say, look at the support to the studio and the studio kicks in the rest. But if they get $20 million, the yeah, studio is going to be like, they won't get 20. They got 30 days. <laughs> They got they 30 won't days. Get $20 million. And you have a black Amex that I used, so. I do, but I, not $20 <laughs> million. <dollars. laughs> yeah. But it's got. Yeah, there we go. It's a Sean John one that you got at the mall, but. Of so. course. Because I, I only drink Ciroc. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of that? Are you Ciroc excited for this? I'm, I'm actually not excited for it. It's all right, but I think I'm, those I'm guys are I'm not excited. Are I'm going to see it. I just think it's interesting that they did a Kickstarter and pulled that off. Yeah. It's a new world. Let's kickstart everything. We have 800 productions we want to do. Everybody, kickstart it. Boom. Yeah, well, you can see with the Kickstarter if it's going to be successful or not. Yes. And that's, that's a plus because at that point, you're like, all right, well, if nobody wants to see this, yeah, so I'm going gonna, gonna to try something else. If they got like 400 bucks for it, that's not happening. Right. I like the idea. I like Kickstarter. I do too. I like Indiegogo. I like all of it. Yeah, I think, I think GoFundMe is kind of like the Walmart of those, but <laughs> it's all right. GoFundMe. Nothing wrong with Walmart. <laughs> Edward's doing a GoFundMe right now to try to get off this podcast. I need better digs, man. I'll give you a buck. I need a to. buck. I, 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 I'll take that deer. It, you know what? He was cheap. He's gone. <laughs> I'll take a buck to get off the podcast. <laughs> uh, okay, Heroes. You watch Heroes? Yes. No. You like Heroes? No. Hero is coming back to Heroes. <laughs> That's the big news. Hero, am I just ruining everything you want to say? Hero no, is no arguably 
my favorite character on that show. He was the best character on that show. They they kind of they fumbled him on there, but that was when, the, when they had Future Hero. Yeah, but they should when he was they, like a ninja. <laughs> but that shouldn't have that shouldn't have messed it up because when it happened, you were still like awesome. But it just like it's they got, mishandled the it got character too much. Yeah, yeah, they mishandled the character. But that, I, that could be said of the whole series. Like by se- by the end of season two. Things were awry. Well, right, they had they had a great thing going in to season one and how it ended. You know the, you know save the cheerleader, save the world storyline. You had all these that people together. Every everybody got a, a, a nice enough role, but then they then season two comes around. The writers are like, oh, well, now wait, well wait. these guys are really really popular. We're gonna go in with the season two storyline. They they go well, and then they start overplaying. But uh, this goes back to what you said earlier. Believe it or not, I paid attention. Do you know what when season two was? The writer's writer's strike. strike. Yeah, no, I agree. So everything started late, and everything was messed up. The writer's strike screwed up season two of Heroes, and they never pulled it back together. I heard the – well, I think we watched the third season. That's the one that has uh, Veronica Mars or whatever on it, right? The blonde girl that's from – not Jenny. The blonde girl. I know who you're talking about. Okay, the one – Kristen Bell. Bell. Yeah. Yeah. I liked her on there. That's the second time we brought her up because Frozen. Kristen and I Bell. thought that was a pretty good. I thought that was a pretty good storyline. But that season was a little spotty. I think I went, I went until until they got into this the carnival or the yeah the carnival. I never saw that, and that was just awful. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I, 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 okay. Regardless, the fact that they got Hero back. Now he says he's a guest star, but it's only. I mean, it's a limited run, right? So just like the X Files, you know what? We'll get there. We'll get there. I'm really happy. I wasn't as down with watching it because it got so bad. I had a little glimmer of hope, like, yeah, I might try it. Now that I know Heroes on, I'm in. I just want to see if they do something cool with him because that was he was the best. I, I agree. I liked him, and he had that goofy cousin or whatever. Yeah, did he die though? Right? Did he? Spoiler. I can't remember. Did he die? I just got to that part of the series. It's been a long he time. He died. I, Oops. La, 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 don't I was tell like, me. He died early, yeah. yeah. No. No, no, he didn't die in the first season. I think he did Because he was the there when he went, when, when, Hero went, when Hero went to feudal Japan, that cousin guy was still there. Okay, I must not have been paying attention. Oh, Siler did it? Now, Siler's not coming back. No, because he's doing that show on how to slap kids or something. But that was the other what? problem. Wait, what? <laughs> Can we kickstart that? Um, no, we cannot. <laughs> What's uh, the slap? I, I know a 15-year-old that could use one. show idea. What's wrong with TV? A slap. <laughs> and then you got Ryan Phillippe killing people. I'm like, what, are you, what is this? But the, <laughs> it's, it's okay. That's not he's, but he's, no, he's I know. Spock. He's yeah, Spock, no, Zachary Quinto. Yeah, Zachary Quinto. Right. Yeah. or whatever. Um, you know what? That's another character who was mishandled on, on Heroes. Well, he yeah. was fantastic. Because and then they, because then they, they overpowered him. him. Yeah, they overplayed him. They overpowered him, and then it's like, well, okay, this doesn't work. He was fantastic in that first series, though. And the way he died, or you thought he was dead, and then the cockroach came out, you're like, yes, it's awesome. No, I was like, what's the cockroach? What are you I, talking about? I have I'm no not idea watching what you're this. talking about. He's like, My I, mom was, doesn't let I wasn't me watch even it. born when Heroes came out. I have no <laughs> idea what it is. <laughs> Time for the slap. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> who, I, ha- who has something here? I have one. Okay. So, Max Landis, he, I don't know if he released it, but he has shared his treatment for what Ghostbusters 3 will be. Okay. Which Ghostbusters 3? <laughs> yeah, which one? <laughs> The all woman cast or all the male, the all male cast? Uh, all male cast, I think. Yes, all male cast. Did you did you read this article? Because I didn't read it. There was a, a thing that came out a while ago though about a treatment that I think he wrote. I'm soured on the whole Ghost, Ghostbusters notion. So uh, you are right now, but you won't be because then Ghostbusters will show up and you'll be like, Gozer, and that'll be it. <laughs> it's um, not gonna be Gozer coming back. If they do, it <laughs> maybe it'll be cool. I want some. If it's stay, if it's stay puffed, but do you see how that switch? It won't. If it's Vigo, I'll be there too. Pop Vinyl puts no. out the, the brand new Stay Puffed. You'll be like, oh yeah, I'm in for this movie on Blu-ray. I'm getting the toys, and, and, and we like. But a I, little, they already did a Stay Puffed. You're like, I don't care. I'm not soured anymore. Yeah, because you know what, Stay Puff for me is an easy cosplay costume because I just put a hat on my on my Baymax costume and I'm Stay Puffed. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> exactly. I just have to keep painting myself white. Get the little scarf. Every once in a while, he just takes it all off, and he's a Michelin man. 
There you go. Perfect. I have three cosplay outfits now for C2E2. <laughs> Baymax each really? day. <laughs> each day. And stay puffed. <laughs> my, my, my wife's like, why are our sheets white? It's like, not even On that showering. Note, uh, <laughs> okay, so the, his treatment for it is he's going to make it, he says he's not, it's, he's going to make it into a trilogy. Okay. He's going to make. Well, they're it, making. They're doing universe building on yeah. it already. They yeah. already said so that. He's going to have it where there's going to be flashbacks. But is he writing it, or was this the treatment that he wrote to try to sell it? Because that's what I had heard was he was trying to sell yes. this he was a while trying ago. To sell this, yeah. Yeah, right. th- his dad is the one that made the original Ghostbusters, and Max did this. And I, he, but this was crazy. If you if you read the description, it sounds yeah. awesome. It, it does. It sounds really cool. Did you ever hear the uh, or read the treatment for Jurassic Park Four? That David Mamet wrote? No. Okay, David, there, you can find it online. David Mamet put out, he wrote a treatment for Jurassic Park 4 that is insane. The dinosaurs get, get like, they, they split the dinosaurs with humans and they make them super soldiers. And it's like dinosaurs with guns attack. It's like expendables with dinosaurs. It's like <laughs> you're reading this thing and you're like, this is either the greatest thing that will ever be made. Or the worst. Or they're just killing the whole franchise right here, which is weird. Didn't they do that with three? <laughs> no. This, <laughs> but, but this is what's weird. This treatment was like years after three came out. It's like, why would you bother... Doing this, but then the more I think about it, I'm like, I do want to see dinosaurs with guns. Everyone wants to see that. It's it's your child. Doesn't everybody dream. want to see dinosaurs I, I don't, with guns? Because I, yes. I don't. Yes. I, I didn't really care to see the uh, Planet of the Apes. The Apes with the guns. I didn't care for that. Shut your mouth. I didn't care the for that. The second one, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. And I love the movie. I didn't care for the gun scenes. Wait, you love the movie? You just I love the movie. I didn't care for the gun because I think. I thought that they would even be more evolved in no, their no, fighting no, no. No, than the to thing even with need the guns. The guns was awesome. And when I started I preview, stealing the guns, it was but... making me think of when they get to the Planet of the Apes and they've got the gorillas with the guns. That's yeah. I was like, oh, it's like the next step. I was way into that. I love that movie. I, I, I thought it was a great movie. movie. You didn't see that movie? You've yeah. seen any of the Planet of the I was Apes? Say, I've, you... seen, I've seen the first one. The the first, first, wait, wait, which, wait. Which first one? The original one? You damn no. dirty apes! That Which one. Which one do you think I'm no, talking like, about? Damn no, it! The, damn the it first one with James Franco because that was the first one because I love James Franco. Is that right? the one that James Franco won? The, uh, I love that the one. No, the, the right, Tim the Burton one. one. Is it the one with he's Mark like, Wahlberg? He's like, yeah, the Tim Burton. Yeah, he's like Mark the first Wahlberg. one with Tim Burton. The, yeah, yeah, the, Mark, the Mark Wahlberg, Wahlberg one. Yeah. <laughs> when I he came back, when he came back, and it was the Abraham Lincoln ape. What? <laughs> hey, Donnie, what? it's Abraham Lincoln Ape. We're going to Wahlburgers. That's my bad Donnie Wahlberg impression. Or Mark, <laughs> Donnie? Mark. Yeah, it's you, one you, of them. You need We're to stop. We're going to Wahlburgers. To it's a Transformer. You need, you need to stop. No, that was a good one. That was terrible. That, that was that, awesome. That was I would rather bad. listen is to... Is that the one? Is that, is that one to you? I, I've, no, I've seen... It's the second one, apparently. The one just before this. The new one. Okay, so you that saw one. the James Franco reboot. Yes. With, the reboot. Yeah, okay, with Caesar. Yes. You yes, need to see yes, the Charlton yes, yes. Heston one. You damn dirty apes. Damn you to hell. <laughs> it's an awesome movie. Yeah, it's a good movie. Spoiler, for it's a planet guys. of apes. For you no. guys. Oh, <laughs> wow, no. look at this kid here. <laughs> Talking smack. <laughs> okay, a name was released. We talked about this before, and I think it's important that we r- circle back. Uh, Walking Dead spinoff has an official name now. Oh, yes. Did you see this? I did not. Now, do you watch Walking Dead? Of course. Do you watch Walking Dead? No. Do you expect me to? No. (laughs) Does anyone else here watch Walking Dead? You guys do. (laughs) Do you guys? You don't watch it. Jenny, you're too young. I I read the comics. They're talking. Okay. Um, (laughs) I don't know about that. I've never seen Torchwood, so I don't know. The spinoff got an official name, which is... Fear, Fear the Walking Dead. Now, here, here's what I'm asking. Is Wait, so, it, so it's called Fear the Walking Dead, or is it called Fear? I think Fear? it's called Fear, and it says Fear and then The Walking Dead under it. Yeah, it doesn't have the colon in the, in the title, but I have a feeling the name of the show is Fear. No, the name of the then, show is Fear the Walking Dead. It's, I don't think that's what it's supposed to be. It's Fear colon The Walking Dead. Fear my colon The Walking Dead. What? You just oh, hit oh, your, your boo, thing? Boo. I, I, I said yeah. I don't know... 
I can't tell if there's a colon there. You got to make it bigger. Oh no, it doesn't have one. Um, I Fear can't the Walking, make my colon any bigger. Sorry. Fear the Walking Dead seems a little bizarre. <laughs> yeah, I like I like Fear as a name. That was a series in the books too. Fear. Oh, Fear? oh so oh, okay. good. So I'm down with that. I mean, do you guys like that title? Anybody? Sure. I, uh, not not a resounding yes. I, I mean, I. Yeah, right. I, I, I'm down I, with it. Well, I like I mean, it better I, just saying fear. I, I think you assumed what the Walking, Walking Dead was. Dead. I think that having like the, the title Dead, after the first few seasons, like what it was really stood for. Yeah, I think that they're calling it fear. I think that the Walking Dead is to brand it. That's all I think. Like okay. if they did, if they did, did another okay. one, I guess that's why. Yeah. If they did another one, they would call it Apocalypse: The Walking Dead, and they wouldn't put the colon. I think it's just a branding there's thing. No that's col- all. There's no colon. Yeah, that makes sense. There's no, no, I looked at the logo. There's no uh, colon. A lil is a colon spotter. I am. I can spot a colon from a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, I should have. You're know, like a sphincter sniper. <laughs> <laughs> I can spot it a mile away. That's a new. That's a, that's a new movie coming out. The sphincter <laughs> sniper. <laughs> Let's get a Kickstarter going for that. that. that, that Brought that to you by s- Southgate Media Group, the Sphincter Spotter, the Sp- Sphincter Sniper. I'll, I'll give you all the credit we'll get, for that we'll one. We'll get sure. Donnie Wahlberg, <laughs> and we'll get Shia LaBeouf. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. Jaden Smith will be cheap by then. He, w- he would? No, he won't be. He's going to be one of those guys that like is always going to be a fortune to get, and he's just terrible, but it's all because he's Will Smith's son. That's the worst. That's the worst. Eventually, no one will hire him, which will be good. No one's... What? There's a trailer for is, it this is Sunday? This Sunday is Big Walking news, Dead the fin- trailer is this, this the Sunday. Trailer. So, okay. As long as we're talking TV, does I anybody I don't know hear, what this interweb means. Does anybody here watch Fargo? No. 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 Uh, Fargo, the TV show, is amazing. I mean, it is really an amazing TV show. Might actually be the best show that was on last year. And there's a lot of good TV. It's you know a golden age of TV. I don't know about that. Did you watch it? No, but I don't know, you know about what? that. I'm telling you, Billy Bob Thornton and uh, Hobbit were in it. And oh my gosh, not Fat Hobbit, Billy the other one. Billy Bob Thornton not, and Hobbit. Well, what's, what's his not name? Not the Fat Hobbit. What's his no, name? No, 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 it was uh, Bilbo. Uh, um, Mackenzie Bilbo Aston. Baggins. No. Oh, Martin, Martin, Martin Freeman, Freeman, thank you. Mar- Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Um, they were, it was... Morgan Freeman as a hobbit. It was... Andy Dufresne was crawling through a tube. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to Fargo with Andy Dufresne. I can't pull that... <laughs> I can't pull the, the thing off, but I'm getting close. <laughs> no, no, um, you're not. I'm getting closer than Alil is. <laughs> he's know. just sitting over there looking at his phone. <laughs> well, I'm trying to find out the next news thing. No, you know what he's doing? Sphincter spotting again. <laughs> no, I am. Ooh. Look at that one. So anyway, stop looking at spotted me. Another Fargo one. two, the second season. There've been a lot of cast announcements. Really good people involved, other than Mary Jane from the Spider-Man movies. I, I'm not a fan. Uh, what's her name? The Kirsten Dunst. Yeah, it? Olympia Dukakis. Olim- wow. Kirsten Dunst. Not a fan. Olympia Dukakis. I couldn't think of a name. That's the only name that came to my mind. Um, she's always Olympia my first go-to. Olympia Dukakis. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of hers. Is this 1986? Where are we? <laughs> yes, yes, we, yes like, it you is. Know, do you know we every time, time you <laughs> every time you have we an are experience, in the blue box. We might it be creates stars. it creates another neurological path. Mine are screwed up. So I'm just telling you right now. I sat too close to the microwave when I was a kid. Blame my mom. It's her hundredth birthday tonight. Congratulations, mom. Yay. You did it. Well, it's actually on Monday. You did it. That is that is terrible. I. I <laughs> You're good. Here's the, anyway, can I tell Here's you, the thing. Wait, can I tell you? You look better than your son, so that's well, always that's the best Well, that's true. <laughs> I look like I was hit with a box of rocks. Yeah. Um, can, can I just tell you? Can I just tell <laughs> you? <laughs> <more> rocks. <laughs> can I just tell you why you're going to be excited for Fargo 2? Today it was announced Bruce Campbell is going to be on Fargo 2. As a permanent person? He's I don't care if he's on for five dead. minutes. I don't care if he's in for five minutes. Okay. Yeah, but the, these are these miniseries things. It's 12 episodes. These, this is I'll the smartest it. thing ever. I will watch it We can Bruce have Campbell. Bruce Campbell on five shows this year because I, they're only 12 episodes. And I will watch all of Bruce Campbell. I watched Jack of All Trades and still loved it. Uh, what, Bristow County Jr.? Bristow County Jr. is great. I said Bristow, but... <laughs> Bristow. 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 
<laughs> yeah, and that's Evil why I watch all Bird Notice because Evil of Bruce. Dead. Lucy Lawless is going to be on. Yes, yeah. and Lucy she's going to be back Lawless. on Agents of Shield. And she's actually in something else I read today that I was like, what? oh, I didn't know she's. Did you get it on here? No. You look it up. Um, um, what? So Bruce Campbell, Bruce Hill's Fargo Ronald, Ronald Reagan in Fargo too. That Ronald might Reagan be great. Is, he's dead. Ronald, wait, what? Bruce Campbell will play Ronald Reagan. No, he won't. He's playing Ronald Reagan in it. Uh, oh, Reagan's. oh, I was so Reagan's. <laughs> is that like when? Is that like when uh, Michael Bolton? Yeah, <laughs> it's from like Michael Bolton in it from Office Space. Yeah. Wait, what do you want me to look up? I don't know. What were you, Lucy Lawless? Lucy Lawless. You should have Lucy Lawless. Get yeah, Lucy tab Lawless. At all, times. all right, let's move on. Wolverine. X Files. Oh, Wolverine. Oh, okay, X Files. We'll go oh, X Files. Oh, Wolverine. Oh, wait, Wolverine. What? Hugh Jackman posted today a picture with uh, one claw up, saying basically that no, this no, no, three claws up. Well, with one hand claw, with the three. Yeah, blades. one claw would be. Take okay. that a little. <laughs> right, I'm sorry. That's what he'd do three if he saw you. Three claws with one hand. Yes. That basically okay. this will be the last time he plays Logan the Wolverine, and the supposed storyline for this last Wolverine will be will delve into some of the old man Logan storyline from the comics. Oh. Which okay. First of all, wasn't it like three weeks ago that he said, I'm going to play Wolverine till I'm dead? So is he in his own death pool and he's going to win a bunch because he's going to die after this one? He said he was going to do this. All about the money. Rob, and, Robert Downey Jr. said the same thing. I'm done. And, and guess what? Oh, I'm now in Civil War. And, oh, Salem. That's the other Lucy Lawless Salem. news. She's on Salem this season. Oh, I didn't yeah. watch I Salem. don't know what that is. Um, it's it's a show that was on show. WGN. It was a witch oh, show. Yeah. I'll watch it. I watch everything. Eventually. You, you Eventually. Got, yeah, I don't got the time for that. It's got Xena Warrior Princess in it. She's awesome. Wait, what? Salem. Yeah, was that good? Did you watch Salem? Is Rob, that a CW show? Is it like all feels? Rob likes and Twilight. Like, and, hold on uh, a second. Is it, it's Teen not Twilight-ish. But a little before you throw those barbs, you're the one who happens to like the Dawson. Wait, what? I just like him from Varsity Blues. And the Dawson. Can I like Varsity Blues? No, you may not. I, I may. Weren't we talking about Napoleon Dynamite earlier? No. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, what were we saying? Okay. Okay, you're going Wolverine. X-Files. Wolverine. So he's going to play Wolverine. It looks like one last time he claims. I love My guess it's going to be a, a, a pitch for Fox because I don't know. I, don't, I think he doesn't want to do cameos. Right. I think, and I think because of the talk that he would only cameo in Apocalypse. I think that's why he's throwing it out there. Right. Because he ain't getting paid for a cameo as he would be a for feature a player. Movie. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So right. Unless I, he's Marlon Brando and he gets his, you know. $7 million to be uh, uh, jor Yeah. So, uh, you know what? No. I, what was that? No. No. No, no it's recast. not going to be that story. Um, but they may do the old man Logan storyline, which would be awesome. Yeah. Yes. They, yes, they, they won't kill off Wolverine. They'll, they'll just recast. They've already, they've already planned that. Similar to what Iron Man, when Downey's out, they're just going to recast it and pretend like nothing happened. Right, right. They're going to bond him. That's what they. That's what they, everybody's using now. The the bond treatment because Craig jumped in and they're like, oh, we're working. It great. works. It's the and gold even, bond. It even worked. It even worked with Batman. I mean, you know, Kilmer. And, I mean, not that it worked. That was good. Oh but yeah, they the just Kilmer people, one was awesome. They just that threw was right people the in and nobody, you know, nobody really blinked an eye. It wasn't like a reboot. Right, right. Yeah, you're right. Kilmer was the best Batman. He was the best Batman. No, he truly, truly wasn't. <laughs> um, Best okay. I, I have one. X-Files. Oh, okay. Five episodes. Six, I thought. No, it's a six. Six? Six episodes. Six episodes, limited series. But you know what? I also read that they already greenlit the second season of it. So they're just going to do these mini series. I'm okay with that. Did you watch The Killing, the third, the fourth season of The Killing? No. No. It was six episodes. It was perfect. It was like a, it was like a six-hour movie. It was great. That's all they have to do with X Files. Give us six episodes a year. Make it really quality. Don't do any of the filler crap that ruined the show at the end. And you know what? I will be in every year until they do the Old Man Mulder storyline. And still then they do, do the filler. Death of Mulder, and then they recast it with John Lee. They're still gonna yeah. do. They're still gonna do filler. They did filler with eight episodes of Agent Carter. That's true. <laughs> But you know what? I'm down with this. Are you an X-Files fan? Yeah, of course. Are, are you an X-Files fan? I haven't seen He's it. I've never, never seen, seen it. it. You know what? X-Files... Yep. Right. So, 
It's on Netflix. Would you like to borrow my DVDs? I have all nine seasons. I have all nine seasons and the action figures. What don't you Actually, have? you know what I'm making fun of you? I have all I nine seasons and the action figures. Wait, wait, do I don't have the action figures. Oh, no, we didn't buy eight and nine. No. Yeah, we have the laser discs. Yes. We don't have eight and nine because those were horrible, and it had this the episode well, where the lone gunman guy. Well, that means you don't have guy, all nine seasons, as you is just not said. Happening. <laughs> Aliens. Now, now wait, we're going wait, wait, to real. Wait. Did this just turn life? into a different show? Are you asking if the government is hiding aliens and there's a shadow oh, government? Man. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you the truth, John, but we'll all the be truth is out there. after I do. Yes. Now, here come the men yes. in black. We're all dead. Because, because Rob is there. He's That's been right. in Area 51 and has been probed. Is it true? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> so there you go. I believe it. I believe it. I believe a lot of crap. What do you believe? This turned into a different show. What do you believe, Edward? I don't know. Do you believe aliens exist? Well, of course they do. Wait a minute. Of course they don't. Wait, no, they have to because it's already been proven there are planets with with atmospheres that would support life. Does it mean that there are aliens coming down in UFOs and with laser guns? No! It means there is alien life. There is bacteria on another planet makes it an alien life form to us. Oh, okay. Done. That's true. But there's no... Either alien, that, or we're just floating in a, w- in talk, a universe of rocks that have nothing on them. That's not true. I don't know. I'm not smart well, enough well, to it, know it, that. It, I know. It could be. Well, I know. It, Do I think the government hides stuff? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I, Do, we lost the government some hide stuff. tickets I, one time, and I swear the government did that. So <laughs> <laughs> I was somewhere, and I saw a drone fly in. So I was like, well, are there? No, no, no that, that was Amazon. Well, that was Amazon, Amazon delivering. <laughs> Amazon was trying to deliver me my, my DVDs while I was at a concert. That was actually me just droning on. <laughs> Boom. Uh, Boom. <laughs> so anyway, so wait, I want to go back. Aliens to, are real. I want to go. I want to go back. back to your probing. So uh, what? <laughs> so you were awake this, the entire time. Yes. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. I asked for seconds. <laughs> you would. Yep, that's right. That's why I can't sit on stools today. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> I, Sony got the rights uh, to the Robotech movies. What is that? Robo- you, know what you don't know is? Robotech? No. It's another Transformers property is yeah, what it okay. is. It's kind of like that, but they're, yeah, they're but in the, mech suits. But the, the thing that's crazy, in mech suits. which is awesome. awesome. Have you seen Pacific The Matrix? Rim. Pacific the Rim. One. The first one. What? Well, the last one they were like in those kind of mech suits. No, yeah, Robotech. but he saw the first one. He didn't see the later yeah. ones. First one. He, Pacific Rim. They're in the big mech suits. Pacific Rim. Like yeah, yeah, like Jaegers. Oh, okay. And, yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, Robotech and animation. But the, the yeah. preview that, or the poster that they put out in the announcement looked like Transformers Four. It looked. I thought that's what the picture was. I was yeah. like, why are they putting it? And then I looked close. I was like, oh, those are mech suits. Oh, it's Robotech. And then I read it. Am I down with it? Sure, I think you guys know me well enough by this point. I'm going to see it. It's starting at five stars because it's guys in robot suits fighting each other, which is awesome, but it might not be good. I'm just going to say that now. And aliens exist. Okay. Yes. What do you got? Aliens uh, exist. So I, I have one. So there's a rumor that this that CBS and Brian Singer are going to... Brian uh, Singer? We, yes, Brian yeah, Singer. Uh, once again... Working on a new Star Trek TV series. Brian yep. Singer? Star yep. Trek Federation. Now, Star Trek Federation. Okay, before you go too deep into this, I also read today on another site, I think it was on io9, that this is bunk. Oh, okay. It was a completely false rumor. All right, so but, let's move on. But, <laughs> but hold on. <laughs> when these things happen, it usually, to me, it's a temp check. Does If, if they get enough retweets, enough talking about it. I don't care if it's real or not. Somebody's thinking about doing a Star Trek series. And I'll tell you what, this so, never uh, hits yeah. the news, but I think it was two years ago, there was there were two pilot scripts for two different Star Trek series out there that they were considering. This always gets washed under the table, but they were both out there. One of them was like Star Trek CSI. It wasn't CSI. Yeah. But uh, that would be it cool. was, there, there it was. Black it was like lights they were, on the Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, 
<laughs> Just like in Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> oh my God, Spock! <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, yeah. uh, it's kind of Spocky in here. Um, so <laughs> How did you get it up there? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Preemptive boo on that one. Um, there was one that was like CSI, and the other one, which sounds awful, was like Star Trek ER. Which I'm just like, Wait, oh, what? I don't want to see. First of all, I don't like medical dramas, but in the Star Trek universe, Boo. what is that? Brrr, they run the thing over their body. Okay, well, you're better. That was drama. <laughs> drama, not born here. Brrr. So you get to see probing. <laughs> it all goes yeah. back to probing. So I'm not, I'm not down with it, but they said this rumor is false. I have yeah. a feeling that there's some inkling to it. Do you, does anyone up here care? Nope. Anyone out I there mean, really care? I, I would. Think I love Star Trek. I love something cool, but this doesn't. Although it's Brian Singer, who's awesome, but it's CBS, which takes right. away from it. You need to take that back. Brian Singer is not awesome. Why not? Have you seen Jack the Giant Slayer? I liked that one. It's, it's all right. Terrible. It was all right. They are doing another movie. We've got news about it, John. Oh, we do? Okay. Simon Pegg is Move involved. on. Stop talking about your boring stuff. Simon <laughs> Pegg is involved in writing it. And he, Simon Pegg, yeah. I know you do. He's, he's British. I bet you know that. Is his accent real or is it fake? It's, it's fake. I knew it. Um, he... he uh, does he throw shims on the you barbie or do I have that completely Wait, wrong? What? <laughs> um, <laughs> He has said that in his rewrite for Star Trek Three, the focus, this came out this week, so it is in the news here. He says, we're going back to the original idea because the last two movies were about action and about interpersonal. And he said, the third movie is going to be Boring politics. Pushing out. No, no, not politics. <laughs> Boring politics. No, no. He wants yes. to have those same elements because think about his movies. All the stuff he's done has those action elements and all that stuff, but he wants them to explore. His point was in Wrath of Khan, you had the beginning where they were on this weird planet. You had these weird creatures, and it was like, what is this culture? This is cool. And that was five minutes of the movie, and then the rest of the time was at the Federation. So he wants to, them to explore and find something different. I think that's cool. And it's Simon Pegg. And his accent's real. And Idris Elba <laughs> might be the villain. Who so, is? Idris Elba. Yeah. I, I have Shut that. up. Really? No, yeah. Idris Elba. I didn't know that. Yeah, now you oh, do. I like Idris Elba. The villain. Yeah. Idris Elba is the villain. That's cool. Anyone know who Idris Elba is out there? Look at that. <laughs> Not Star-Lord. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's Heimdall in the in the uh, He wanted movies. to, yeah. He's, a, he's in a fantastic show called Luther. Oh, they're going to say a fantastic movie called Ghost Rider 2. <laughs> he's, a, he's in a fantastic yes, that, movie. That, that was amazing. <laughs> yes. I, I was no, standing by he's, that. He's on the show Luther, which is on Netflix. It's a BBC show. Amazing. And, you know, they were going to bring that to America with him, and he wants nothing to do with it, which is honorable. Okay. Um, Wait, why? So, because they weren't going to do, they were going to turn it into Luther. She wrote, and that's not what that show should I, be. I've never seen it, so I go. Uh, no, I it's like The it Wire either. with Idris Elba. Am I right, Chris? See, see, it's really good. <laughs> okay, I trust. I trust Chris's opinion. <laughs> you trust no, you Chris? Wait, wait, Rob's <laughs> so so, <laughs> so so, because he said Brian Singer is amazing. Okay, what so. did Brian Singer do? He was he did the X Men. Superman movies, right? Returns. I like that one. I didn't love it. I didn't love it. I've told you what I Wait, think about it. Is that the newest one? No. Oh, no, that okay. was the last one with Brennan Routh. I, the, there were things I, I really liked in it. <laughs> I like what he did with X-Men originally. X-Men I don't, 2 I, is amazing. It is. X-Men 2 is a great movie. Then and X-Men I did like the, the, the last one. And 3 was but awful, I, but that wasn't him. That was the rat. Yeah, that was Ratner. Um, Ratner. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. I, I'm just saying... I, 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 He's he's a after Usual Suspects, oh, and the, an and the, and the first few X Men movies really hasn't hasn't done anything really special, and I think the X Men movies for him doing the one the first one, I don't want to say it was easy, but there was really nothing at stake for him at, at that no, point. No, but he did a great job with and it, and the second one was fantastic. The second one was great, but they also got in great writers for that because he he does not know this universe. I didn't say I'm like he's like my number one guy. What I'm saying is. 
Well, I'm think, saying amazing. Too. I think it could be amazing him doing a Star Trek thing because he does understand ensemble work, which he did with Star Trek or with, uh, with X-Men. X-Men, yeah. Jack the Giant Slayer was not ensemble work. That was a one-off. He was trying to make a kid's movie. It was mishandled. Jack I liked it okay. It? That was a good movie. I did. See? It it's was all right. Good. I don't I know like how everything. that's a kid's right. movie. But do you, you do? Not Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> I like Ryan Reynolds. I just don't have some kind of weird, unholy affection man for him like you do. Weird, unholy man I'm not, crush. I'm not moving in with him because I <laughs> spotted him from miles away. Um, if he would let me move in, I'm there. What are you <laughs> yeah. talking about? He, he, I'm he's like, he, no, he, he lives in Hollywood in a hey, mansion. He colon of course. him. <laughs> right. Hey, hey, Ryan Reynolds, in brightest day, in darkest night. Dude, Noah I would, Lil I would, I would tell him Green Lantern is the greatest sight. superhero movie ever made if I could live with What was that? <laughs> Noah Lil shall Red escape Freeze, my sight. Noah, oh, school. you missed. You talked over his joke. Noah Lil shall escape, escape my sight. All right. <laughs> <laughs> He's down with it. So Ryan I've Reynolds. That, so Downton Abbey, it's seasons. How did we get to Downton Abbey on this show? <laughs> Downton Abbey? <laughs> Never seen it. <laughs> Well, 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 I'm sorry. Well, I well, never. Well, I don't watch anything on the BBC. So down, Downton, Downton Abbey has ended its season, but it may be making a movie. Okay. So, the first time I heard about that show was on Iron Man Three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> That's true. Wow. So. It, well, they it, haven't it's, announced the it's, movie. It's They've just, just said it a could rumor. Happen. It said it could happen. The aliens are not. keeping it from us. There's at least 12 months away. No, at it's least. at least three years away. They have to film it. They have to do everything. We'll have 17 Marvel movies by the time that comes out. <laughs> <laughs> the entire Star Wars, you know how it happened in a galaxy long, long ago? <laughs> the movies will have caught up to current day by the time this movie comes out. Which is only three years from now. <laughs> the Downton Abbey movie, they're using lightsabers. What if they do a crossover, <laughs> Downton Abbey and Star Wars? I'll it see could that. Happen. Yeah, sure. Lil's like, I'll see that. Uh, now you'll see that. <laughs> Wait, what? Maggie Smith? Oh, she's awesome. McGonagall. Yeah. Oh, I have something. Yeah, she could do just about anything. She's awesome. I have something that you might like. Except I heard she's going to star in, in a remake of Showgirls, and that's one I don't want to see. What is that? Yeah, I'll see it. <laughs> Which one? I'll see it. <laughs> she and Jessica Tandy are the leads. Jessica Tandy's Ooh. dead, but, you know, like beef jerky. Ooh. Gross. <laughs> Betty so, White. I'm there. Um. So I have one. Jeremy London and Ethan Soupley are going to join Mallrats too. You know what? Well, not only them. He's got a, he's got almost Jason the entire Lee cast back. is back. Jason and Lee, Shandori. Did you see what Jason back. Lee tweeted out for it? It's a picture remember. of Jason Lee holding a chocolate pretzel going like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, he <laughs> fantastic. Kev- Kevin, I'm in. Kevin Smith had actually uh, Michael Sh- Rooker. Yeah, Shannon uh, Doherty's on all it. All of them holding the chocolate pretzels. Yeah, that's okay. awesome. And you know Michael what? Rooker should, always talks about that. He always that. asks for chocolate prep. We should hold up chocolate pretzels and I'll show our support. It. I'll see it. Oh, I'll, I'll, of is, I, I of own course. that movie poster signed by. That's, I think. I think he might be one of the only ones that they haven't got yet. Who? Ben. He'll make a cameo. I. I would bet money. Well, I don't know. It's kind of uncomfortable in well, there. Well, he's he's big now. Like I the mean, back of a Volkswagen. Time. He wasn't big time back then. They need to get him and Matt Damon in it. I'm Batman. <laughs> Shannon Doherty is not big time, ever. And there Jeremy London, Jeremy London was cleaning up after the Hulk was done cleaning up at Comic-Con. <laughs> That's how low down he was. So and they I got him cheap. Uh-huh. He's, actually fin- he's actually the one that opens for us. That tells you how cheap he is. <laughs> okay, so I have one that you might like. What? Terminator. They're going to have <laughs> filming right after the Genesis. They're going to have a sequel. Well, no, no. If they haven't announced that officially. Okay. Um, tr- tr- did you hear this? So I did Terminator not. Terminator Genesis I... is successful. It won't They're going to do two and three it for Genesis be. back to back. Kind of like they do with Avatar. So boom, 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 three Terminator movies. They're going to do Avatar? it. Avatar? The only Schwarzenegger yeah. movie I'm actually excited to see is Maggie. Maggie looks amazing. Yes, they have seen it's a zombie movie. Schwarzenegger movie. That. Yes, I'm that's down what they with need that. to do. They need to they need to throw the Expendables in a zombie movie. <laughs> what would that be? 
Well, that's true. I mean, the zombies won't eat them because they're like, there's no blood or anything going on. It's all steroids. <laughs> yeah, I'm down with that. All right, I got one more, and then I'm, I'm out. Um, Jason out Siegel time. and Drew Pierce are doing a Lego sequel. I guess Jason oh, Siegel's yeah. going to cool. direct it, and they're going to write it together. I love what he did with the Muppets. Yeah, he did a great job. With the I first. thought the Muppets was great. I thought the first one, the second one that he wasn't involved in wasn't as good. No, but my kids still loved it. So. But that first one was fantastic. Well, he's doing one. It's called Billion Brick Race, which that's all we know. Yeah. Uh, 2016, Ninjago comes out. 2017, Wait, Ninjago? Lego Batman. There's supposed to be a Lego movie sequel in there somewhere, and then Billion Brick Race. I don't know. The Ninjago movie? No interest. Have you seen the TV show? Nope. It's it's Ninja Legos. Yeah, That's it's Ninja a Legos. Show. It's bad. You know what? That started at one star, and it can't. It can do nothing to work its way up. <laughs> no, it started at zero stars. And but just Lego there. Batman the movie. Oh, that'd be amazing. That's five stars. And then you uh, a little like eh, maybe it was Lego Spider Man. <laughs> oh, that'd be I'd be there opening night. See, right. <laughs> No, they go Batman. No, but he'll still be there opening as, my, for Batman. As long as they have that soundtrack, my parents died. Anger, anger, darkness <laughs> everywhere. That's awesomeness. Dun, dun, dun. See, I, I, think, awesome. I think with the Lego movies, I, I'm, I'm afraid that they're going well, there's to There's only overshoot. one Lego movie so far. I'm saying with the ones that they're planning on coming out, I think they're going to kind of yeah, oversaturate it. Because they have a lot of cartoons. I do like the half hour. Like, they did a bunch of Star Wars ones, Lego Star Wars series yeah, they're, they're with good. the Yoda Chronicles. Those were good. You know, but, they but would kind of make movies, fun of their universe. As movies, but I don't know. The Lego much movie, movie was do. great. Yeah. yeah. But... These, I'm a little nervous. I think Lego Batman is an interesting idea. I think you're going to have fun yeah. there, especially if Will Arnett is playing Batman. I like the idea of Jason Segel getting involved, though. I think he's I interesting. So yeah. I'm in it. Is that it? That's it. That's it. That I, yep. Awesome. Well, we talked yep, this yep, one yep. out. Thank you for well, listening, everybody. What? You got more? The oh, glimpse no, at, we okay. do have one. So we have one. They, oh, we have one more after that. Say yours fast. Oh, okay. So they had a glimpse at the Fantastic Four. Yes. The, thing. the first. Yes. Big shot of the thing. He looks. He looks like he's just a pile of rocks. Well, he is. He is, but. I don't. I don't want to say what he looks like. <laughs> oh. I think he looks. It's a all pile right. of something. He looks all right. He'll. It, you know what? Yeah, it's not so good. It looks like almost the Roger Corman thing. He, he, almost. He looks the ugliest out of the. But that picture is awful. It is. <laughs> Everything in that picture is. is awful. It's, it's bad. So, I don't know. This, yeah. As much as I was starting to get on their side, this poster is so bad that I'm getting a little nervous again. It, it went down to four stars. It, uh, it's at about three right now. I think it's more two, one. I, I, I'm going, okay. No, I'm at three because go watch that preview again. And you go like, okay. I did. Okay. <laughs> but that poster definitely I saw it in the theater, it. even on the big screen. And, uh, it hurt it. So okay, so the last that? one. Uh, Steven Spielberg has announced that he is going to make Ready Player One. Do you know this book? No. That's a video game, right? Uh, yeah, it's a video, video game, game movie. Yeah. Everyone I know that's read this book, it's like on their top ten books of all time. They're like, it's this amazing action book. And the fact that Spielberg is making it, people are like, this is going to be the movie. I'm excited about it, but you know what? He was also supposed to make Robopocalypse, and that... Has what? kind of gone into the ozone. So it does. It, it, happens, happen? it happens a lot with Spielberg. Will there be a Schindler's List 2 before we see this? Electric Boogaloo? <laughs> Terrible. I mean, it couldn't happen because they don't have the Sh rights. The for Wrath it. of Schindler. The Wrath of Hitler! Boo. Schindler's List 2, The Wrath of Hitler. Boo. I'm going to. Oh, yeah, okay. He's sitting there with his list going, Hitler! I'm down with that. <laughs> And you'd be the only one. Yes, the only one. <laughs> I bet my excited. dad would go. The only one that excited. No, I don't, I don't think he, he, he agrees. Bad, bad nope, idea. Nope, he doesn't. John, bad you'll joke. go. There's English guys in it, John. You'll go. And there's Hitler. And it's got Hitler in it, too. See? There you go. Actors that can act are all English. I, I don't know if Simon he's talking Pegg, about the Hitler. For example. Nick Frost, Englishman. for example. Very funny guy. Nick, Rick Mayall. I think we're done. We think is funny. Your wife does not. Rick Mayall. Yeah, he was, in, he was in the show Bottom, which is Ruth's favorite show. 
No, it's not. All right, is that it? Are we done? That is yes, it. it. All right, thank you for listening, everybody. This was This Week in Geek. We will be back next week. We will. All right. Sure. Sure, why not? Easter? Oh, yeah. Easter. 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 Easter.